Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's Hayden, back with another Minecraft mod review. So, um, today, um, I'm going to be re reviewing a couple of different mods. Um, there are some pretty cool mods that I use them, actually, I use them a lot. Um, I use them quite a lot, actually. Um, so, I don't know what's going on here. Um, okay. So, um, let's see. So, what you, so the mods are Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod is the first one. Uh, Cars and Drives is the second. And the Camping Mod is the third. So, we're going to go through them in order. Um, starting with the first one. Um, the first one adds um, adds real tables like not just the pressure plate on the fence post it's like real I can stand on it I can put things on it as a matter of fact let's put like a plate on it let's put a plate on that table um, so yeah so you can put that kind of stuff on it um, whoa did I do that? I must have done that Anyways, um, so you can put that on, um, and then they, like, extend, kind of, like, you see how, uh, that one disappeared, and then it dis it keeps disappearing, well, and then you can do this, and they, like, did you see how that one moved out to the side a little bit? And then, see, so you have, like, a giant table with plates all along it and then there's chairs and also by the way the there's a wooden table and there's a stone table and same with the chair um, but yeah the only problem that I would like him to fix if he's watching this video right now is just you have to like kind of place them like that and like this I mean it's not a big problem but it when you're in like tight spaces and trying to set up like a desk or something, it's kind of a little bit of a pain because you have to like get right up. Because otherwise, if you just place it like that, it's going to be backwards. And because they're orientable, but um, yeah. So there's cabinets which obviously store things in them. I'm not going to go into too deep a detail with that. Uh, bedside cabinets. There's the wooden, there's wooden and stone coffee tables, which are like little low to the ground tables, and those actually go with the couch. The couch comes in, let me see, one, oh, whatever, just about any c color you want, and you can make them like that, and then you can sit in them, but anyways, so, uh, that's how um that's yeah um so then there's the refrigerator and actually that actually works out nicely because i just picked up rotten flesh so in the top there's the refrigerator and you can only put certain things in the top and then the bottom it says freezer and for fuel you have to use these cooling packs so you put in a cooling pack and you put in some rotten fret flesh and then the cooling pack disappears and that snowflake appears and it's kind of like a furnace where it goes and goes and goes and then you get flesh so then if you put it in again do you put it in again? no you don't um, but then you can uh, cook it you can actually cook it, um, like, and also the snowflake slowly disappears as the, this goes away, but, um, you can actually cook it and it's not poisonous now, so I will show you, uh, the oven, and it comes with an oven overhead, uh, which makes sense, you know, so let's do this, oops, not that. Okay, um, gonna need 
some oops wooden planks or something and uh yeah oh my god will you get out of my way please thank you um but anyways uh um for most of these things you need to have a house that has at least one block of overhead space so there you go it does produce a little bit of light um but not too much i'm just gonna grab the flesh that we threw away real quick um, so then you go in here, and you don't need any, 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 any fuel whatsoever. You can cook up to nine, you can cook nine stacks of whatever you want at the same time. So you just put them, see I could put them there and they'll still cook. And then it cooks it, and it actually goes in order to. It goes from there, to there, to there, to there, to there, to there. Since there's nothing else, it's just going to do that one, and then that one. But, um... And then they'll pop out over here, and um, these ones, they're like not poisonous anymore, so you can actually eat them. Um, but while those are cooking, we'll move on to the next thing, which is, um, see there's a bird bath, there's a stone path, um, there's envelopes and packages, you can actually like send those to people if you're playing on a server or something. Oh my gosh, this music always annoys me so much. And so I'm just going to turn that off. So anyways, um, but yeah, there's blinds, and there's curtains, um, which go with, um, glass panes. So, essentially, you can uh, take that and then put a glass pane and then let's do a double window because there's actually a neat feature that has to do with a double window um, so then you know you close in your window oops didn't mean to do that um, so then uh, you got so you want a curtain right here so it doubles wide and you can only close half of it or you can close the entire thing just by right clicking it so yeah and then I'll demonstrate the blinds over here and let's see and the blinds are the same concept and they widen you can close one half, or you can close both halves. But yeah. So see, like I was saying, this produces a little bit of light. And see, now you have cooked f flesh over here. And uh, you can essentially eat it, and it won't poison you like rotten flesh will. Um, and then, yeah, there's the electric fence. There's a stereo, which actually works. It plays jukebox music. Uh, and the computer is actually a neat thing uh, to play around with. It. Uh, let me just get some. It's. It kind of works like a villager. You go into it and you can buy stuff like hardened clay. You can buy skeleton skull. You can buy. It's called mine bay. Um, saddle, spawn horse, diamond horse armor battle enchanting and it always like changes up here and since I'm in creative mode I should be able to buy anything but I can't but then there's like enchanted books and also this actually comes with the mod right here that's called a recipe book and I will show you what this does um so this is all of the recipes that you can do um like mine bay like these are all the items that you can buy on mine bay right now currently um and then there's like blender i will show you guys the blender because it was it is so cool it just blows me away um how much time this guy put into this it's amazing so you're gonna need a cup and you're going to need, of course, the blender. 
and you're going to need some different fruits depending on what you want to make. So if I just go to foodstuffs, I'm going to grab some apples, some melons, that's about it I think, but I'm going to place it on the counter, go back to my recipe book, um, and then go to blender, and then you can make fruit crunch fruit crush, two apples, and four melons. So what you need to do is take apples um, and four melons and then put them, put them, oh geez, what did I do? Two apples, four melons, oh dang it. So four melons, and then shift and click the blender, and it makes a nice noise. And you'll see it slowly starts to blend. And the spider wants some. Um, and then you take your cup and you right click it, and you get fruit crush. You can drink it. You can actually drink it. So I'm gonna go. Uh, let me just do that real quick. And then, um, I would go into survival mode, but, you know what, I'm just going to put it on peaceful, because all these mobs are annoying me. So now, if I go to, survival mode, I can actually, oh, I have to get my hunger down. Oh jeez. Okay, so once you guys get the picture, right? Okay. Um, and then there's um there's some other recipes you can make: fruit cr crush, veggie juice, energy drink, cookies and cream. And then you can microwave things. You can microwave raw beef to get steak, potato to get baked potato. I will show you guys the. Uh, microwave too. Oh, right, I'm in survival. And then um I will show you the microwave. Um so let's see, we'll get the microwave, the Toaster, chopping board, um, knife, and uh, that's about it. And then we're going to need some bread. So, first I'll show you the microwave. We're going to need, show you the, oops, the raw beef into steak and the potato into baked potato. So what you do is you open up the microwave just by right clicking it and put it in there. Click start. Makes a nice sound with some particles coming off. And you get steak. And it's super fast so that's the upside for using this. And then you get your baked potato. So yeah, um, that's a meal. And then say you want some Say you want some uh, toast with your meal, so you're going to need a chopping board, put some bread down on it, and then right click it with a knife, and you get six bread slices. So then what you want to do is get a toaster, take your bread and put it in the toaster, and then sh put it in and uh, shift click it with nothing in your hand, and they will go down and you just gotta wait and they will eventually pop up um... and see they popped up and I got toast, it went from bread slice to toast so now you go to your beautiful table over here and then you give everybody a slice of toast and then uh, these guys over here get some steak and baked potatoes because they are special and then these guys get 
big potato. So yeah, um, that's about. And then also there's um, something really cool. Uh, there's a TV. You can actually watch TV in Minecraft now. Oops. And so you just right click it to turn it on. There's a there's different channels. So there's uh, uh, the He-Man, you know, uh, Nyan Cat. Everybody loves Nyan Cat. And then there's this channel, which is like nothing. And then it goes off. Um, the next one is a stereo. Oh, I already told you about this one, but you see, it's got all the. To turn it off, you just shift and click it. But you can't have anything in your hand. There. And so, yeah. What's another thing? There's the printer, which is pretty self explanatory. Um, there's a doorbell, fire alarm. Yeah, I think we covered everything. Um, so. On to the next mod. So the next mod is called Cars and Drives. And there it comes with like uh, road, mark, marked road, marked intersection, marked curve. And then there's a traffic light sign. There's a no entry sign. And there's a traffic light. Now um it took me a little bit to figure out how the stoplight works so I will show you guys um so let's say we've got our road and then we've got an intersection and then over here we've got more road and then we're gonna go like this and then we've got another road coming up to it right here But, uh, yeah, so you kind of get the picture, but it has to be perfect because I'm OCD like that. So, oops. So then, um, you've got, so you've got your road. And, uh, you don't want anybody speeding up to a red light, so you put the traffic light sign down on all the roads. You know, just to make sure. and then you put your traffic light so here's the traffic light um... pretty traffic lighty um... there's another one there's another one and here's the last one okay so you got all your traffic lights um... and then what you do is put a anything that emits redstone next to it and it changes from red to green and then back to red so that's how you can control your intersections if you're on like a server or something have your buddy or somebody uh, stand and control the traffic lights or whatever and then here's the no entry sign it's kinda self-explanatory um, but yeah so that's just about it and then it comes with one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it comes with ten different cars. Um or maybe eleven. So I will show the different cars. Um
Uh, he's adding more all the time, so... Because, like, if you're a donator to him, and you donate enough money, he will make you your own personal car, personalized car, and add it into the game. So, um, right now, there is currently the car, which is just, you know, regular old car. Then there's the Ferrari, which is pretty fast. I mean, I'll test drive these all at the end of the video. There's the 313, which I'm guessing is like a race car or something. I don't know. And then there's the Jeep, which I is my personal favorite. I think, or actually no, the truck is my personal favorite. Um, and then there's the blue car, the yellow car, the old car, Woo! I must be losing my voice or something, um, and then there's the van. So yeah, these are all pretty cool, um, but then after the van we have the old race car, we have the mine Sadies, and we have the donators car. So here's the old race car. Um, so yeah, and then there's the mine Sadies, which is like Mercedes for Minecraft. Oh look, it's got a little dirt block right there. Uh, anyways, um, then there's the donators car, which he customized. And then put on here. So these are all the different uh, vehicles you can get. Um, I'm going to start by driving this car. It's pretty slow, but you know, it, do it does a decent speed. Um, and then there is the Ferrari, which you can see goes pretty fast. And then there is the 313. This is the Jeep. And I forgot to mention, they can go up blocks, one block high things. Um, and then there is the truck. There is, which is pretty slow actually. And then there's the, uh, mine Sadies and then there's the old race car which is goes pretty fast but it's kinda hard to control there's the donators car and you kinda get the picture okay um, now another another our next mod is the camping mod um, and it has, it's a pretty self-explanatory mod. The only thing that wasn't self-explanatory to me was these kits. What do you do with the kits? So, pretty much what you do with the kits is, um, you can have a spit, um, a grill, or a pan. What you do is you take your cooking campfire, there's a decorative and a cooking campfire, okay? So you grab your cooking campfire, pick one of the kits, I'm going to do the spit and you pick um I'm gonna do like the raw vention and then what you're gonna wanna do oh this is probably good I good time to show the lantern. So here's the lantern it's pretty uh pretty broad so you're gonna set down your cooking campfire and you're gonna get any kind of fuel you want. Well, actually, it has to be coal, I think. It actually has to be coal. So you put your coal in, and it fills up your campfire. And then you take the spit kit, and you actually put it right there. And this is your spit, and then you can take your it's very picky about what you put on there. It has to be like a certain thing. I think it can be fish. 
Yes, it can. And you can actually see the fish on there being cooked. So yeah, but anyways, um, then there's the... Uh, there's a tent. There's a sleeping bag. Um, uh, there's a bear trap. Um, a backpack. So the bear trap essentially um, adds a new potion effect into the game. Um, and it essentially traps you in it. Um, and the new potion effect is bleeding too. So it gives you the new potion effect. And um, let me just get out of this real quick. So it gives you the new potion effect. Um, and it will slowly kill you, but it takes it a long time. Um, here's the tent. Um, you can add a sleeping bag in it. Um, this backpack is pretty much you just put some stuff in it you know whatever you want and then uh... there's a new survival inventory that uh... yeah so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed um, please like rate comment subscribe if you did um, Oh, and by the way, it also, if you leave it on there for too long, it turns to ash. Anyways, so, I hope you liked these mods. If you did, like, rate, comment, subscribe down below. Um, if you would like to see more Minecraft videos, uh, say down in the comments below. Um, so, yeah, uh, if you like this video, like, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, and... Yeah, so I will see you next time.